bring a gift. Reborn through extinction. Reason. I score. A new species of scorn are hunting Elixni across the system. Once he fights me, it's too late. The crew must be stopped. Stand against those who would cast us into ruin. Defend our people. But against the dead, killing is not enough. I name you Slayer Baron. The city gave our Elixni allies a new home. But tensions between humanity and the Elixni can still run high. Mizrax, the leader of House Light, is keeping to himself, worrying his people. His daughter Ido has four sharp eyes on him. But something's off. Things aren't going so well for Elixni outside the city either. We just got a distress call from Europa. It looks like non-combatants in Aramis's old crew are under attack. A new species of scorn are hunting Elixni across the system. These scorn are corrupted Elixni, returned from death by their leader Fickrel. And Fickrel was created by the person I used to be. I've got a personal stake in rectifying the situation. But as the new Hunter Vanguard, it's more than that. It's my duty. Eyes up, Guardian. We're responding to a distress call from House Salvation civilians. They wouldn't ask us for help if it wasn't dire, so let's use our leverage wisely. This is a humanitarian mission, so hold fire on all Elixni targets. Good luck. that Aramis is on site. Your orders are to take her alive. Now, I know she's caused a lot of damage, but killing her will only harden anti-human sentiment. I'm not turning my first op as Hunter Vanguard into a bloodbath.
Guardian. It's not an attack, it's a roundup. But new scorn only come from dead Elixni. So why do they want the prisoners alive? Salvation ships are bailing for Earth, and the Helm just arrived to take on stragglers. There's a lot of reasonable distrust of Aramis's people, but I'm taking the long view. I want to prove that hunters can build bridges, not just blow them up. Sibis keep referring to them as Naviskirisk, which translates to not lifeless. Not sure what they mean by that yet. Xenobiological analysis is in. These scorn are made of living tissue, Guardian. Not necrotic like normal. Naviskirisk. Fikril must have found a new source of power. Something paracausal. Stand before me if you dare. Send you back to the drift again and again! is getting away, Guardian. Chase her down. got his hands on an Echo. He's using it to mutate the ether of living Elixni. That explains this new breed of scorn and why he wants the captives alive. For now, let's keep our eyes on the prize. Aramis is cornered. I'm coming down to personally negotiate her surrender. Stand by.
Good work, Guardian. This has been a long time coming. Aramis Kell. It's not for me to judge you, but... I speak for the people of the last city now. They're demanding justice for all the people you've harmed. Guardians and civilians, both. And it's my job to deliver you. The justice of thieves and oppressors. What hypocrisy. Your blades are covered in the ether of my kin. Think of the kin you have left. They're aboard the helm right now, and they need you. You can't abandon them. Besides, if I came back without you, Ida would never forgive me. If I come quietly, you will guarantee safe harbor for my people? As long as they disarm and live peacefully with House Light, they'll be safe in the city. You have my word. I expect the Guardian to enforce that. Now take me to Ida. All hands. This is the Hunter Vanguard. We have a high-value prisoner on board and a house salvation catch inbound. Prepare for boarding defense. We don't want to fight your rescue team, Aramis. Call them off. I'm not the one in need of a rescue. Once he finds you, It's too late. Father! I bring a gift. A power to make all Elixli our children. Reborn through extinction. Reason has scored. has happened. I can't believe the helm is gone. At least we managed to salvage a small section of the ship from Europa. We couldn't leave poor Failsafe alone out there again. We must operate out of the last city for now. 
And so, welcome to my tonic shop. Petra has been helping me search through old records. Techian research, even materials from the old House of Wolves. I found many references to tonics. Elixirs my forebears used to treat sickness or grant strength. This wasn't common medicine. Old Reese was suffused with the light of the great machine. Some of these ingredients must have been too. My father is... ailing. Nezarek's curse works upon him day by day. But I know there's a solution in here somewhere. I won't give up until I find it. I hope my studies can be of some use to you as well. Whatever new power it is that Fickrul wields, we'll need a way to counteract it. For now, it may be helpful to study the revenants that Fickrul creates. It's unsavory, but we have to start somewhere. I believe my father wants to speak with you. Please, don't let him know that I'm worried for him. Guardian, I regret that you must see me like this. I know insists that this is flowing the curse, but it is no cure. Mm. Much elixir medicine was forgotten. Ido seeks a remedy in secrets of old Rees. There are few still living who know the ways of our lost home. Eremiskel remembers. Captured by the Guardian this day, she will help. Her love for the Elixni is poisoned by her hatred of the Great Machine. But now she will see wisdom in your path. Yes. Safety with house light. Protected by guardians. Safe, but not whole. I thought being near the great machine would help reclaim what we lost on Reese. But I look at our hatchlings now. Living in the ruins of humanity. Building lives from scrap. And I see that we are debased. Corrupted. Defiled. Doomed to meet our final end. As scorn. Trust in Ido. Varix teaches the ways of house judgment. She will find old solutions to new problems. You will see. Even after the Traveler fled our sky, and our world was swept away in horror. After our great houses fell to betrayal and futile war, some Elixni held hope for unity and a future for our people. I do not know how much time remains to me, but if none challenge Fikrul, that dream is lost. Vigrul will condemn Elixni to decay and ruin. We will be a dead people, ruled over by the dead. My life is for my daughter and my house. Let them see that I still believe the old stories. Old stories tell that when Rhys was threatened by dangers no weapon could defeat, the Kells would call upon a Slayer Baron, 
one possessed of forgotten knowledge, capable of impossible feats. One who could stand against an unrelenting foe. Does that not describe you well, my friend? So much of our history is tale and myth, but the scribe Varix remembers much. And what he cannot recall, Ida will help you uncover. I name you my slayer, Baron, and I beg of you, defend our house, defend our people. Deliver them from this second whirlwind, and when the time comes, deliver them from my curse. visited Aramis in her cell. We've been talking a little. I think we're making progress. She's been more responsive lately. You've been out there protecting our people. Even she has to admit that much. I mentioned that I've been working with Varix to track down information about tonics. Aramis said she knew a couple of older Elixni with knowledge of such things. If we could track down an apothecary, it would speed up my research considerably. In the meantime, Aramis also spoke of a Salvation Enclave that might need our help. I sent Crow the coordinates. I... might have left out the part where Aramis gave them to us. I know, but... I think we can trust Aramis to look after the interests of her own people. I'm sure Crow will see that soon enough. Trust me on this?
here for help after all. Beric sees suspicion in the Slayer Baron. Can they trust Beric? Perhaps he still desires to be Kel of Kells, yes? After all, many died to make it so. It is true that Beric wanted power. Not for himself, but for all Elixni to build a new home filled with peace. But Varix lied to himself and his people. He was misled by darkness, and he lost the way of his house, and many terrors were born of his failure. Now Verix is humbled. He remembers he is not a Kel. He is a scribe. House judgment is not the way of fighting or ruling. It is the way of keeping history, promoting justice, teaching hatchlings. So Varix will train Idol, and together, scribes will undo the many wrongs of Varix the Loyal.
I greet you in the light, Slayer Baron. I grow restless in these quarters, yet here I must remain. You have our faith, Guardian. Mine, and that of my daughter. I do not know Rhys as Aramis does, or as my own mother did. I must concern myself with our new home. Liars. Liars and deceivers, all. The purest light, the darkest hour. The time is at hand, Guardian. Guardian, your battles against the Revenants to save Elixni captives from a fate worse than death. It's like one of our old fables. I've learned so much about our lost homeworld lately. About how ether flowed through all the plants and animals there, not just the elixni. But for every drop I learn, there's a whole tank full that was forgotten. That's why it's so important that we learn from the few survivors, like Varix and Aramis. I know you and Aramis Kel share animosity, as my father would say. But she's more than a leader, or a fighter, or a criminal. She's a rare link to the secrets of old Rhys. I encourage you to put aside the past, and let Aramiskel help us. Or we risk making her the last of the Elixni. Again. I never thought I would long for the solitude the prison of elders provided. Instead, I am left to feel like a curiosity. Trotted out for all the world to see. To bask in the glow of my spectacular failures. To relish my defeat. One last humiliation. Tell me, Guardian, is this a gratifying sight, or a frustrating one? You strike me as someone who appreciates finality. 
Not so your hunter vanguard, it seems. I am grateful for one thing. No Salvation Captains share my cell. This remains a private humiliation. Ido claims you will defend both our houses against Fickrell's beasts. So, here it is, Slayer Baron. I know of another Salvation outpost. The Elixni there cut communications shortly before my incarceration. If any yet live, it seems likely they too are under threat. I once believed anything would be preferable to accepting your assistance. I have Thickrel to thank for illuminating me. I hope to demonstrate my gratitude in person before the end. This is definitely the place, but it's weirdly quiet out there. Revan and Scorn have been turning up everywhere. We've really got to get a handle on this. If I could just... Wait. Is that... We are here. We wait for you. I'm here. I... I'm back. Look! I inspire! I avenge! For you! Now, we rule! Together! I, as Kel, you, King Aldren! Let them go! This isn't... You don't have to do any of this. Please. This is our purpose. Your teachings. To break their servitors. Their lies. Their trust in light. I'm the one who lied to you. This is just pointless slaughter, please. You can just stop. You can be more than this. I'll help you. You... are not him. You are a dead thing, like the others. You wear his face. You steal his voice. Forget his purpose. 
It wasn't a purpose. It was delusion. Give him back! Don't! Hear me, father! I will rip this imposter from your bones! Damn it! Okay, got it. I'm setting up a transmat site. Get that device over there and we can digit in orbit. Got it. 
I'm setting up a transmat site. Get that device over there and we can digit in orbit. Joseph's taken care of. You did it, Guardian. At least, no one else died today. <sighs> Death is all Fikra believes in. It's what I taught him to believe in. My faithful acolyte. <sighs> I thought I could reach him. One more time. <sighs> Let's go, Guardian. This is only going to get harder from here on out. Troubled times, Guardian. You fight well. Every day, new survivors come to Mizrakskel for protection. But the scorn come like a tide. They swarm the reef. They build in secret, using the bones of old ruins. Catches full of prisoners vanish into the belt. Useful prisoners, yes. Many who might help us if we retrieve them swiftly. But Varix does not yet know where Guardian? Take the Slayer Baron. Why fight for the Fallen? You and I know the truth. These old names, these stories. <sighs> so easy to